My goal for this build was I wanted to create something that was unique while also showcasing what our 3D printers can do. So at the time, our Stratasys F770 was available to print on, and I thought, hey, let's make an absolutely massive drone. So I went ahead and catted that up, and you can see what I have. It's two components. It's the lid and the main body. The main body is 850 millimeters by 520 millimeters in size. This size is absolutely massive. So the components for this drone had to be relatively sized. So for the battery, it was a 6S battery with a 5200 milliamp capacity. The motors are 2807s with seven inch props. I have two cameras on this system. One is a recording camera on the front, which you can see here. On the lid, you can see I have an FPV camera. This allows me to see in real time. The lid is attached with Velcro and that allows me to easily access the battery compartment in the field. So we're going to load this up in GrabCat print and we're going to look and see if there's no errors. We're going to check the estimate. It's a three day estimate. And now we're going to have a look at the slice preview. What we're trying to see here is, is there anything that stands out to us? We're going to go through the layers. We're going to check the inside of the arms. We can see that the support structure inside the arms looks good. So we're going to go ahead and print this. So there's something important I want to point out. On the right hand side, you could see that there's two pillars that fell over. The reason for this was we tried to reduce the print time as much as possible. And that meant reducing the amount of support structure as well. So what happened was there was too little support material and it fell over. So you could see the white strings all over the print. That's because those strings uh, were supposed to go on the pillars, but those pillars fell over so they had nowhere to attach to. So, you can see why that happened. We are now going to remove the print. The print is attached to a plastic sheet, and that plastic sheet is held down with a vacuum force inside the machine. If you're interested in learning more about the inside of this machine, I have a video called F770 Impressions and First Print. So we're going to go ahead and peel off the supports on this, and then we're going to get assembling. In this picture, you can see the support material has been removed. We're going to begin assembling by taking a screw and inserting it through the arm until it protrudes on the other side. We're then going to take our motor and then we're going to tighten down the screw. Once we've done this, we're going to do it for the three remaining holes and then we're going to repeat this process for each arm. We are now going to begin wiring up the motors. So I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to feed it through the hole in the side of the arm. Once it's most of the way through, I'm going to go around to the other side and I'm going to pull all the way through. Once we've done this, we're going to do it for the two remaining wires and then we're going to pull those all the way through as well. We're now going to plug the motors into the flight stack. We're going to plug it into the correlating color and then we'll tuck these wires away afterwards. We are now going to close up the drone. So we're going to make sure that all the wires are tucked inside and then we're going to take our lid and we're going to place it on top and firmly press it down. By using Velcro, that makes it so we can easily take this off and on so that we could access the internals. So here you could see a picture of the completed drone, and I look forward to flying it here.
I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe, that really helps us out. I look forward to making more content in the future, I have a, another smaller drone following this video, and I look forward to showing some really cool footage with that. So, without further ado, thank you and have a great day.